Romans 10 Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, Say not in thy heart, Who shall ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? that is, to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is, the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach, except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Hey, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Much peace and mercy to brothers pushing this truth in the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai and teaching our people repentance to his covenant, uh, which is established, which is open, which is accessible now um, in a body that you're in. You don't need a new body. You don't need to be in Israel, all right, and you don't need to uh, receive any type of superpowers to receive um, the agreement or to agree with the Lord in this time. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to make a couple of statements concerning, um, you know, what men are doing in these last days, these, uh, these box camps, these groups, these organizations. Uh, you know, really what they're doing is they're standing in the way of our people uh, repenting to righteousness. Now, in this book, uh, Romans, the 10th chapter, it's stated that Yahweh is the end of the law for righteousness. So you're not even allowing our people, all right, if you're not teaching the covenant, you're not allowing our people to understand and to come into the uh, way of repentance, the way that they shall be justified with the Lord. A lot of guys are standing in the way. A lot of guys are telling our people, telling the whole nation <laughs> that we're waiting on the new covenant to be established, that uh, our people need a new body to be in covenant with the Lord. And, you know, these are all heresies. So really what men are doing, men are not able to confess um, the Lord in these last days. So they're not being confessed in the eyes of the Most High. So let me grab a scripture real quick. All right, men. Men are not confessing the Lord in these last days. <laughs> Men are doing whatever they want to do. All right. If you're, if you're telling our people that we're waiting on the covenant, when in the first century, the Lord established the covenant, 
those men and believers in the first century, they didn't have a new body and they were entered and had access to the covenant. And that's what we read in the scripture. So how much how much more now? But you have men in these last days, uh, these exalted elders and, you know, bishops and high priests and, and elders and rulers of the people in this time, just as it happened when the Lord came. They're in, they're in the way of our people coming back to the Lord through uh, a new living way, which is that new covenant. That is where all the repentance is. That is where the Holy Spirit is. That is where all the mercy is. It's in the new way. It's not in the order after Aaron, the Levitical priesthood. And this is what a lot of men, they fail to realize. So they're not actually confessing Yahweh Shai if they're denying his covenant and calling his covenant a demon. So they're not uh, in any kind of uh, agreement with the Lord in this time. Let me grab some real quick. Guys, are, uh, these these elders and these older men are in the way of our people uh, coming to a rest, coming to a way of repentance, a way of justification. Uh, let me just grab this real quick. Because it's not going to be after the order of Aaron. And that's what guys in these camps. And they're supposed to be these great men. They're supposed to be just like Yahusha told Nicodemus. You're supposed to be this great man in Israel. And you understand not these things. So a lot of these guys in the last days, they're not really of God. And they don't really understand this, these uh, scriptures. But they're in, a, uh, they're in the seat of Moses over our people in this time. They're directing and guiding our people into the wrong path down to the way of destruction keeping our people in a curse now this is um this is matthews 10 this is matthews 10 and 32 whosoever therefore shall confess me before men so you have to be confessing yahweh shai you have to be confessing his covenant you have to be confessing that we're not under the order of aaron anymore you have to be confessing that we're not after the levitical priesthood no more and we're after the priesthood of melchizedek the order of melchizedek you have to be confessing these things so if you're not confessing these things, you're not being confessed before uh, the Most High and the angels. Yahweh is not confessing you before them. So men out here are teaching <laughs> all kinds of shit. They, they have all types of knowledge which has puffed them up and has led them away from actually teaching our people the Lord. They're not confessing the Lord. These men will go out there and say they're confessing the Lord. While at the same time they go back and run and deny the covenant and say men that are teaching new covenant, which is what the apostles saw in the New Testament, that it's a demon. So these men um, that you see with long garments out on the highways and byways and these groups, these camps, organizations that are having these big Passovers, you know, all of these big um, leaders and groups and heads, they're not even uh, confessing the Lord in this time because they are against his covenant. So really this book guys are standing out there reading a book that's against them <laughs> because you had nothing to do with the house shot in the first century so now these words are your judge just like the lord said these words shall judge you in the last day and that's what's happening with many men the true worshipers are coming to worship as the scripture says in spirit and in truth and it's exposing those that are actually not worshiping the lord and doing this thing in sincerity man that's what's happening all right, as the new covenant is taught, because this is all they were teaching in the New Testament was the was the Shai and his covenant. Okay, and all his principles, his laws, so on and so forth, man, and the spirit of Yahushai. So men are not doing that; they're not confessing the Lord. Matthew's ten and thirty-two. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So men are not being confessed before the Father. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. So men are being denied a spot to get out of here. Men are denying the salvation. The only salvation is in the new covenant. <laughs> it tells you in the book of Romans, uh, the, the Romans, the 10th chapter, which I used the dramatization for. It, it tells you that there's, no, there's salvation in no other. <laughs> It's not just about literally the name. It's talking about what Yahweh Shai came to do. What was his intent? That would be what you confessing Yahweh Shai. Why he gave himself. What he opened up. What he initiated. But since men can't do that, they're against the Lord. So they're actually basically telling our people that when the Lord died in the first century, it didn't initiate nothing. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Um. Basically, it was for nothing. 
This is what guys are telling our people. When in fact, the Lord's death signified the initiation of the new covenant in that time. So how much more now? So guys are understanding in a way of our people really understanding what the this uh, New Testament and what this truth is about, man. All right, it's not about the garments. It's not about how many Passovers you keep, how many carnal lambs you eat. It's about teaching the Lord and repentance to his way that he opened up through by way of his sacrifice in the first century. That's what we're supposed to be teaching. That's confessing the Lord. That will allow what Yahweh shot to confess you to the Father. If you're denying doing that, you're denying the covenant, you're denying everything the Lord opened up, you're denying the Lord in this time, just as you did aforetime. Matthew 10 and 33, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. So you tell men that the covenant was initiated. It's been accessible. Men tell you, no, you have a demon on you. I'm not, I'm denying that. It's not here. I don't believe that. I can't see it. <laughs> this is what men are saying. Men, are, I'm going to put a curse on you because you keep teaching that way. You keep teaching that. Is that not what happened to the apostles? In the book of Acts, where those, those great rulers and scribes and Pharisees and high priests, they told the apostles not to teach that doctrine anymore because the doctrine had filled Jerusalem. Isn't that the same thing that happened then? Is that not the same thing that's happening now when we teach the Lord once again in this time? Because it's the same niggas in the way. It's the same spirits that are in denial of Yahweh Shai in his way. Because, because why? Because they're carnal and they have nothing to do with Yahweh Shai. They have nothing to do with this Bible. These men are not of God teaching you after on the highways and byways. They are against what the whole storyline of the, the New Testament is about. They're against that. But say they read out of it. <laughs> but say they believe in it. <laughs> if you really believe, you would understand that the covenant was is accessible and it was opened up and initiated when the Lord gave himself. Guys are against Yahushua and are denying him in his time. All right, let's go to Romans 10. Guys are in the way. And if you can see through the spirit, the same thing is taking place. There's nothing new under the sun in this time. The same spirits are against Yahweh Shai being taught again. <laughs> the, uh, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they told the apostles, they said, uh, stop teaching in his name. We're not going to stop uh, confessing Yahweh Shai in his covenant. You guys are against what's actually written in the scripture. So you guys are... Uh, you're just acquiring more uh, judgment for yourselves. It doesn't matter how fucking mad you get out of the house and by ways, what you're screaming about, what you're yelling about, the emotion, the emotional uh, tangents you go on, all those emotional rants you go on on the house and by ways, all those, all of the, all of that, without teaching the Lord. So we don't care, man. You guys are not in the spirit teaching that the covenant is not here. When that's all the New Testament is about. <laughs> This is Romans 10. This is heavy, man. You guys are wicked, man. It's a lot of wicked guys that uh, know the Israelites in these last days. And majority of them are out on the highways and byways. You can read Luke, the 11th chapter, where it says, beware of these men that come in these long rows out on the highway screaming at people. <laughs> All right. Persuading you through persuasion. All right. And you're uh, luring you through the, 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 the lust of the flesh. Oh, you can get five wives, brother. See, all the shit that you guys have set up in these last days is all against Yahweh Shai and his covenant. You're doing all that, climbing up some other way, and you're not even teaching what the apostles and all the believers taught in the first century, in the New Testament. Because you guys have nothing to do with the Yahweh Shai. You guys are dead in the spirit. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. And four, for Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness. For Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. So, God's in the way of our people believing on Yahweh Shai. So, therefore, our people are not able to what? Access the faith. That's the actual faith. The faith in the new covenant. The faith in, in a better uh, a better hope. That's what the scripture speaks on. A better hope. Faith in that. Faith in Yahweh Shai. Faith in what? Seeking justification through him and not through the Levitical priesthood or the order of Aaron. All that was done away with. It tells you that in the book of Hebrews, it was disannulled. 
So what are guys doing teaching it still? While at the same time denying what was established through the Lord's death in the first century. <laughs> a lot of guys are in their lot coming back denying and blaspheming the spirit. Putting themselves in the way of judgment in these last days. And the guys are doing it to themselves. But like the brother said in the last video he did, um, we're just getting the blood off of our hands. Because we're just telling you what's in the scriptures. But you guys don't listen because you're carnal. Romans 10 and 4, for Yahushua is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. You're not even, these men are not even allowing our people to believe on Yahushua. You have to really see what's happening. If they're not teaching what the apostles and Paul were teaching in the New Testament, then they're not of the Lord, they're not of God, they're not actually confessing Yahushua. They're of some other spirit. They're teaching you and bringing you back into the curse. There is no one that's going to be justified by the after the order of Aaron, that old Levitical priesthood that's dead now. The new way is in the spirit, repenting to Yahushua's covenant and his principles and his laws. That's the new way. Guys are teaching against that. So guys, in this time, you have to see... If they're actually teaching what the apostles and Paul taught in the New Testament or not. If they're not, they're not confessing Yahweh Shai. Because that's all those men did in the New Testament was confess Yahweh Shai and his new way and the new covenant. And repentance to it. That's where the faith comes in. That's where the mercy comes in. That's where the salvation is ultimately. Romans chapter 10 verse 5. For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law. That the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Now that that's done away, now what? But the righteousness which is of faith, the new righteousness, the actual righteousness of faith in what? The new covenant. Repentance to Yahushua's ways that he brought forth in the New Testament. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven. That is to bring down Yahushua from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Yahushua again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. So this is only going to be for those that are actually of the Lord. Because this is going to make sense with them. They're going to see by way of us teaching the new covenant. and Which is actually what they taught in the New Testament. All right. Guys are going to be able to make a difference between who's actually serving Yahweh Shai and confessing him and who is not. Those that are teaching prophecy and Esau <laughs> and missing the whole objective of teaching the Lord and confessing him to our people right now. Those men that are doing that, all these groups, camps, organizations, they are not of God and they're not confessing Yahweh Shai in this time. It's very easy to see. They're against Yahweh Shai and confessing him and what he did. They're in the opposite spirit. So they could do millions of lessons, a lesson a day, five lessons a day. All of that is in vain because all of it doesn't consist of Yahweh Shai's covenant and confessing him. So guys are not even sent and it tells you that. Uh, let's keep reading. Romans 10. Romans 10 and, and 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That's why we preach Yahweh Shai's covenant. We preach his principles. We preach repentance to the new living way like is, is described in the book of Hebrews, man. That's what the Lord died to give his life to initiate and open. So why are we teaching any after any other order? Guys are still after the order of Aaron in the Levitical priesthood. You're going off. You're teaching a dead order. That's over with. So if you're doing that, you're keeping our people in a curse. It says, curse to those that continue if not in all things that are written in the law. So if you're still holding our people to seek justification through that old order, that old law that's dead, you're keeping them in a curse in these last days, man. You're keeping them bound. And it's heavy because the brother spiritually said, guys are likened unto Pharaoh. And it's true. You guys have our people in bondage spiritually. To a old order, the Levitical priesthood that has been done away. Showing that you guys are not sin of God. Because you don't even understand the scriptures. Concerning the old law of Moses and the Levitical priesthood, the order of Aaron. 
knowing that it's done away. You don't even understand that because you're not sent of, of God. Yahushua didn't send you, a lot of you guys in these last days. You're of the world. You're not of God. You're holding our people back. You're in the way. Romans 10. Romans 10 and 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahushua, and shalt believe in thine heart that the God, that the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So you're you're blocking our people from actually being able to do that in these times by teaching them that the, that we're waiting on the covenant. We're not waiting on anything. There's new principles, there's new laws, and there's a new way of living after a different order after the priest the order of Melchizedek, which Yahweh was made a priest forever after. This is the new way. There's repentance. The repentance is not to the old. It's to the new. There is where your salvation will come from. Otherwise, there is no salvation for a lot of our people in these times. Teaching what they're teaching, man. Teaching against the covenant. A lot of guys are, a lot of guys are cursing themselves, man. <laughs> Romans 10. Romans 10 and 11, for the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Whosoever believeth on him and what? In his covenant shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon him, excuse me, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How are you calling on the Lord and you don't even believe in the scriptures? Concerning the covenant he initiated and opened up access to. By just following the principles and repenting to it. How are you going to be saved? If you don't even believe those things. Romans 10 and 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have no have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? If you're not sent of God any times to understand this, if you're not sent back with the new heart to what? To confess Yahweh and to actually confess and be able to see in the spirit what was done away in the first century and what was initiated, which is the new covenant. All right, you're not sent of God in these times. It's real plain to see. So really, you're just wasting your time. You're in the way. You're in the way. Teaching after the order of Aaron when we're not under that anymore. We're under a higher order after the order of Melchizedek, which guys can't even understand. We're after a completely different order in these times. Going all the way back to the first century when that first, when that second order, the new order uh, was opened up for us. The new priesthood. Guys are carnal, man. <laughs> You're of the world. So you need to follow something that's carnal. Carnal ordinances, carnal commandments. You need that because you're a carnal. You don't have the spirit to believe things that you don't see. Because you're carnal. You're of the world. You, that's what a lot of guys are out on the highways and byways. They're, that's what they are. They really don't believe like that. They really don't have faith. You don't have faith unless you believe in the covenant. That's where the faith comes in. So what's happening is these elders and these all these big groups and the leaders of these groups and these rulers and high priests and so self-proclaimed apostles, they're playing on you men's tops in these last days. It's very demonic. And a lot of some of them know what they're doing. <laughs> playing straight off you guys' tops, man. Because they were never of the Lord and you follow them. <laughs> man, we this is why we tell guys to repent, man, but guys are not taking heed. Guys want to continue on teaching against what the apostles and Paul actually taught in the New Testament. You're teaching against something that you're reading. You're you guys are completely bugged out. This is because you follow men. Men, men. Many of you guys, majority of you guys, you were never really in this to actually seek the Lord. You were in this for alternative motives. So now it's being exposed because you never really believed. <laughs> Romans chapter 10. You guys are carnal, man. Romans 10 and 15. And how shall they preach? 
and how shall they preach except they be sent? So you guys are not really sent of the Lord, so you're not really preaching shit out there. You're actually counterproductive to what's supposed to be happening with our people in this time. Teaching against their only way of salvation, their only form of mercy in this time. Teaching them to deny it. Teaching them to be against their own savior. Teaching them to what? Tread underfoot the sacrifice of the Lord. By telling them to teach that what the, when the Lord died, it didn't initiate nothing. It didn't establish anything in that present time. But that we're waiting for it still. <laughs> God's in the way, man. Romans 10. And Romans 10 and 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. If you're not teaching the covenant, you have no, you, you're not teaching the gospel of it. You're not teaching the good news of that covenant. The good news of the covenant is teaching the gospel. You guys are not doing that thing, that out there. You're not confessing Yahweh Shah and his covenant. You're not preaching the gospel. You guys are just teaching a whole bunch of knowledge, uh, basically holding our people up for understanding and us getting out of here, man. But uh, prophecy is going to be fulfilled. The elect are going to understand either way it goes. But this is just to show you who you guys are. Just a big burden standing in the way of our people getting out of here. <laughs> and when the, the elect are sealed, that's when it's going to be the end of this, this, uh, this world, man. And what the Lord, what did the Lord say? He said, I shall keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord is going to be with the elect. All this stuff coming is for the wicked, man. All these carnal prophecies, you guys are going to be casualties of them because you denied the Lord and you denied his covenant and you failed to confess him. You denied him in front of men talking about his covenant is not uh, initiated. It's not accessible. It's not a standing establishment now. By way of his sacrifice in the first century, you guys are crazy, man. You guys are against God in these times. You won't even listen to the Yahushua, so you damn sure won't listen to God in these times. Same thing that, uh, that the Lord told Ezekiel. They're not going to listen to you. They don't even listen to me. You don't think he told his son that? That's why Yahushua said, he that don't receive you, don't receive him that sent me. So God are not receiving, guys are not receiving Yahushua. Guys are not received of God in these times. Guys are of the world. They're carnal. Romans 10 Romans 10 and 16, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. See, you guys are not obeying the gospel. We're teaching the gospel. We're preaching Yahweh Shai and confessing him and his covenant, which is the gospel, the good news of, his, of the new covenant. All right, you guys don't believe. You're not believing it. It's prophecy, though. Um, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, they, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. And by a foolish nation will I anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and saith, I, found, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not for me. But to Israel, he said, if all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gain saying people. That's you same guys in all these groups, camps and organizations that are against the covenant. You are gain saying and disobedient, rebellious people that will not hearken to the words of the Lord. You're the same people. You deny the, the Lord. You deny his covenant. You're denying salvation to our people in these times. And you're in the way teaching them that and teaching other men to teach it. Making men twofold more the child of hell than you than yourselves when they repent and you persuade them into your group, into your synagogue, into your Sanhedrin to teach false doctrine, to teach heresy, to teach against what they were actually teaching in the New Testament. They weren't teaching the law of Moses in the New Testament. That's what guys still fail to realize because they're carnal and have nothing to do. So therefore, you can't you have no business. And you're not judges of the weightier matters in the scriptures. Let me grab some real quick. You're actually against the weightier matters. Let me grab this real quick, man. And I'm going to get out of here. You guys are in no 
place and in no shape to be judges and be over Israel in these last days. This is Matthews. Let's get it in a blue letter. You guys are carnal, man. You guys are the you guys have the same spirit as the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. Because a lot of you are the same spirits. Your spirit is contrary to is contrary to Yahweh Shai. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, as Paul said in the scriptures. So if you're against what we're teaching and against and, uh against the spirit that we're teaching in, you are against Yahweh Shai. That's why you can't confess him or his covenant. You're denying it. Because you guys can't see it. You're blind. This covenant and this judgment that's coming unto you by way of this being taught is judging you guys and showing forth that you're not of God in these times. Matthew 23. And 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, and faith these ought ye have to done. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, which strain at a net and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. That's what's happening in these groups. That's why they what they don't have the spirit to teach you shine. They don't have the spirit to confess the Lord and His covenant. This is not in them. Do you see? So what? Our people are going to remain dead in this time because they're not taking heed to anything that is profitable for them, which is what? The covenant. Because you teach that it's not here yet. You teach that we need to die and be in another body or be transfigured into another body to access the covenant. When it's a spiritual covenant, not a covenant after carnal ordinances and commandments. It's after principles and laws and faith and discernment and discretion and mercy. And all these weightier matters, judgment, faith. How can our people have faith? So you're teaching our people against faith. So it's showing you guys are not of faith. You guys are of the world. You guys are not in the spirit. Any of that. None of that concerns you. So this Bible has nothing to do with a lot of you guys in these last days. And you guys are what? Basically against your house shot. So when he comes, he's going to tell you men that he never knew you. You are those men that are going to fulfill that prophecy. Those that the Lord knows are able to confess him. Why? Because they have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you guys are carnal, man. You guys are the, you guys are wicked, man. A lot of you guys are in the way. And we're going to say this so that what we don't get just, we can continue to tell you guys that you're completely against God in these times. Matthew 23 and 27, you're not teaching what the apostles taught in the in the New Testament. You guys are teaching another doctrine, which Paul said, if you do that, uh, he said to let you be accursed. Matthew 23 and 25, warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's you guys in these camps, man. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. And say, if we had been in the days of our father, we would not have been partaker with them in the blood of the prophets. And that's what you guys say. Oh, we're of the God. We're teaching the Lord. We teach you the Lord said prophesy. We go out here. We've been doing this for years and this. We wouldn't have killed the prophets. You're the same guys that would have because you're you're, you're against Yahweh Shai in the spirit and you're against the men that are in the spirit teaching them. So what exactly, who are you against? You're against God in these times. You're against the prophets that the Lord sent. You're against the new way. You're against the new covenant. You're against life. You're against peace and mercy. All, all of those things come forth out of the covenant and repentance to it, man, which you guys deny. 
Matthew 23 and 30, and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. You're these same guys. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? How are you going to escape denying the covenant where the only salvation comes from? How are you going to escape? How are you going to escape being rejected of the Lord because you have denied him in his covenant? How are you going to escape? How are you guys going to get in chariots, which you preach all about all the time, having no understanding that you're not going to get in there or you're not going to be a part of that if you're against the Lord in this time? That all the judgments coming and the prophecies is all for the wicked. How are you allowing our people salvation? You can't if you're telling them that the covenant is not here yet. <laughs> Guys are, are, are against the Lord, man, in these times because they are forgetting the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. And you have no faith if you don't even believe or confess Yahweh Shai and believe in his covenant. So what's happening in these last days, many guys are being shown to be of the world. They're not of God and they're not preaching Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they're not sent of the Lord in these times, man. The Lord said... Uh, I send you into the world. I send you as sheep amongst wolves. You guys are not the sheep. You guys are the wolves in these last times. <laughs> you know, ravening wolves have entered into what? Entered into this, man. You guys are never of the Lord. Never of God. All you guys in camps, groups, organizations, you have crept into the apostles' doctrine of the first century. This doctrine that goes back to the first century, all you men that have set yourselves up and self-proclaimed yourselves and exalted yourselves into high seats over Israel in these last days. All right. You are against God in these last days, man. And you have crept into the apostles of old doctrine, which you have no understanding of. And if you did, you wouldn't be denying that the covenant is here. So I'm going to get on out of here, man. Many men are, are not confessing the Lord. So they're not being confessed in the eyes of God in these last times. They're not being sealed. All right. And showing you that majority of these men are not sin of God. They're false prophets. A lot of guys are false teachers and false priests. They have nothing to do with these, this Bible in these last days, man. They're just using this for other purposes. All right. Which is what the wicked scribes and Pharisees did with their power in the first century, man. The same thing is happening. There's nothing new under the sun, man. So Lord willing... Um, the elect are repenting And that's really what these lessons are for You other men is to condemn you man Because you're not doing What the Lord said to do You're not teaching what the Lord taught in the first century Shalom